What a great system. In this video, we're gonna teach you how to get Dreamcast running on your computer. It should run on most computers. You've got an i3, i5, no problem. I've also done a video where I test this on the Dreamcade Replay, which is a much slower processor than the i5, i3, but it's very, very simple to do. The reason why this video is so long is there's a lot of gameplay in there, but really the first uh, three to four minutes is all you need to watch if you wanna get this working. The rest of the video is just to show you some settings and some actual gameplay. So before you go into the whole process, you can see what you can uh, expect. So without further ado, let's jump right in. This is the day you have trained for, the day you have studied for. Utilize your superior skills, your superior intelligence. Sit down, Ronan. Oops. Sarah, baby. Oh, you were one flat. Don't make me hurt you. Learn to defeat your ruthless enemy, Steve of Hackensack. Ryan, you're going to get rooted. Shut up, quadruped. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get some sort of Xbox 360 controller or other USB style controller to connect to your computer. You will need that. And then you just need to go pull up any kind of browser. You can do Bing, you can do Google.com. And uh, you're going to download, need to download a couple things while we're here. Um, you want to go ahead and type NOL DC. And it's going to be the um, this one right here, the ISO zone, where you get the null to see 1.04 final with BIOS. And basically that's going to give you everything you need right there. Bing, it's the second link there. So you're going to want to go ahead and get this. You can go ahead and click on the file right here, download, click this. I do highly recommend waiting, using some sort of ad blocker on this website. Save it. And you can uh, close out of this website. You no longer need this website. Uh, another thing you need to do is download ROMs, a simple search on Dreamcast ROMs, you'll find cool ROMs, love ROMs, free ROMs. I'm not associated with any of these websites and please use them at your own risk. You do probably want .cdi files as those are compressed CD files so they use a little bit of space and they work great. If they are come archived you might have to unzip them. Okay, here's my download here. I'm just going to go ahead and extract this file very quickly. As you see it's a very small file, double click in. Dreamcast, and here we go. Null DC Win32 release, no trace. Let's go ahead and double click in there. All right, we've launched Null DC for the first time. What we want to do is go to select plugins. All this controller port setup, you got port A, B, C, and D for your four different controllers. As you see, my port four, it currently has X input here and then the G15 keyboard here. And this is working fine for my Xbox 360 controller. You can see when you go to Maple port A, Sub, or it tells you device right here, X pad 360 pad, perfect. So I'm all good there um, and it's all, the controls should be automatically configured for you. The other thing you might wanna do is if you watch my Dreamcade replay video, you can see that I turned it off on, as far as uh, power VR, I did maximum about 1280 by 800. If you have a slower computer, you might wanna lower the resolution right here. This is gonna give you way better frames per second. If you have an i5 processor or better, you should be fine at maximum supported. The other thing I found is if you do borders and you don't stretch the image, it's a smaller image and you will also get better frames per second. Um, as far as texturing, you can kind of mess with that, uh, but dynamic full on any kind of standard computer will work just fine. Uh, I wouldn't mess with any of these other settings here unless you have a really slow computer and you can't handle it. Um, GD-ROM, don't worry about this. Make sure this is on limit speed and sync audio so your audio is all set up. And uh, that should be everything you need to do. So once you're at this point, you just go to start and then click these little three dots to go and find your ROMs. So I have a folder here with a lot of Dreamcast ROMs in it. And uh, a great racing game is Sega GT. It's also fairly graphic intensive. And as you can see in the upper left corner, you can see in the upper left corner that our frames are very high. You, you, I've found no matter how fast your computer is, you will get uh, frame jumps between screens. But when you're actually on a particular screen, that's really what I look for as far as frame dips. So we're going to do single race. Grab our skyline. Let's go with 
it's white. So you guys can see it nice. Oh. Skip qualifying. Alright, automatic transmission and drift. Got to show the sponsors. All right. All right, so you're right. Your right trigger is your gas. Your left trigger is your brake. And in the drift mode, you can really just drift by a hard left or right. I'm using my analog sticks. I'm really liking this Xbox 360 controller. Got a map in your lower right. Oh, 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 did you see that? I I was like so close to just losing it all right there. Okay, so this turn does not look that sharp on the map, but you never know. So something about this game is it's very uh, sensitive. Let's drift that. Oh! That was pretty dope. Let's drift this one. Oh! Nice. We're doing all right. Oh, okay, okay, not so good there. And then here's another kink right here. Oh, this you can just drift around it. Okay, that's a nice drift turn right there. First place, baby. Never played this track before. First time. Straight away, just wide open throttle. Use the whole course. All right, here we go, let's drift this. <laughs> I got a little over eager there. Oh, we still made the, we made the circle and we held our position. I'd say that's pretty good. So you can see the frames, you know, about 50, right around 50, which is really good for this game. There's also just the, the whole fact of emulation and emulating for specific specs. You know, for my specific computer, for example. So I do want to run that same game again, just so you can see um, some of the, uh, the differences here. So let's just drop it to 1280 by 800, and also drop the, um, just do borders. So we're gonna start the same ROM and show you what that looks like. So this is more of a 4.3. And as you can see, it's not, it, you're still gonna get the same res on my computer, even though it's a really powerful computer, uh, because this is just the emulator at this point, the ROM and the emulator. But if you were getting like 30 frames, for example, on your computer, and then you up, you downgraded the res, you should be able to get 40, 50. Um, as you see here, similar results to when we were full screen. So it really didn't improve anything. Okay, so let's skyline again. Let's go blue. There's another mountain. Let's get qualifying, yes. Let's race. And we're still, you know, floating around the 49.42 the whole time. 49.52. Cool. So I'm going to skip this video. And as you see, we still have those graphical um, lines, you know, around the position in the lap in the upper left corner. Let's see if we can pull through again. First turn, first turn victory. I'm gonna go right between these two cars. We're doing it. And then this guy's gonna get it to the wall. To the wall! All right, we got it. Broke away from the pact. 
back in the front because that's how we do it. All right. I kind of want to drift this turn really quick. Let's get a heavy drift here. Uh, uh, boom, okay. See how Guilty Gear runs? So if you haven't noticed already, if you have, you know, an i5 processor or better, you should be able to run all these in high res really easily. Not getting any frame drops, very, very little. play Dreamcast on your PC. Very, very easy to do. Um, I've played Dreamcast on some really slower computers like the Dreamcade Replay, things like that. But you're not going to be able to stretch. You're not going to be able to run on the high resolution. If you've got an i5 or anything better, it's going to run just fine. I know I'm running this on a super souped up computer. Uh, i7, 24 gigabytes of DDR4. Uh, it's got a 980 GTX graphics card. Uh, all sorts of stuff going on. But you know, you're going to see similar performance with an i5 or better. So, uh, there you have it. Really easy to do. Dreamcast was such a cool little system. A lot of great titles for it. I believe there's like 600 titles for this system. And it was just awesome. A lot, a lot of great titles. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll check you on the next one.